Hey everybody, it's Noodle Dog. I'm doing another character concept video. As you can see from last video, I actually kind of elaborated a little bit on my figures. I actually recorded another video and I didn't like it, so I just threw it away. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna talk about what I was talking about before. Uh, we're gonna go a little bit more in depth with the character that I'm working on here. This is Volkner. Um, as you can see, he's a pretty cool guy. Let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and select my brush, and I guess I'll talk to about him at length, just a little bit. Um, so Volkner is um, Volkner is the oldest of three, and he's also the strongest of three siblings. He's the oldest of triplets, and as a result, he actually was the first of his generation in his uh, in his culture. Volkner is the crown prince of his home world and even though he sometimes acts as if he doesn't want to be king he deeply desires to be able to prove his family right as far as being the next king of Blackridge. A lot of the things that Volkner usually is associated with in his home world are uh, power, ingenuity, creativity, and things like that and that is usually what Volkner is all about. Volkner is at trade or by trade he is a blacksmith, he's an armorer, he is an engineer. Volkner does all these things and he is very much, um, he's very much love, he's very much loved by his people. By the way, I'm doing this in the morning right now, so <laughs> I'm still kind of drowsy, so I am actually working up. This is actually another day from recording and I'm just like doing, I'm just doing warm up so I can get some semblance of control back because I usually don't uh, do stuff like this in the morning, but I'm alone today. And I have time to be able to talk for once. So uh, expect this and maybe another video of the same category soon enough. Um, I got other videos to do today, but in time, in time. So, okay. Volkner, um, like I said, is the oldest of three. He is the strongest of the three, and he's the first of his generation. Meaning that Volkner is responsible for a lot of things that may have inadvertently happened to his kind, at least in his generation. So. I guess you would consider them being labeled as the experimental stage of the Elder Hounds. Um, the thing about Volkner and his particular species is that there's four different tiers or four different um, there's four different generations as it stands right now. So the first generation is the original generation of a couple million. I forgot how many that I wrote down in my document. Let me go check. Actually, that's actually a good idea. I should have that up so I can actually share this with you all. Let's see. We're gonna come back to this. There it is. Give me a second. And I have a whole Google Doc listed right here. Um, I would share it, but I get kind of worried that somebody's gonna take all this information and they're going to uh, they're gonna use it against me. And it's really upsetting because. I really like this, this species, but I want to make adopts and stuff like that soon at some point. So, uh, give me just one moment. Uh, more is it? Nope, 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 nope. It's close. It's around here somewhere. Uh, there it is. There it is. Found it. Okay. So, let's see. And we're back. Okay. So I pulled up my Google Doc and I decided that I was going to make this part of the experience, being able to actually factually explain some of this stuff because. I usually talk and I have a general idea of what's going on, but I wrote this stuff down uh, last year, so, well, earlier this year rather, so you guys can understand and I can understand myself what I, what I wrote down. So nothing is out of the blue. This is actually like a really long document that I worked on. Okay, so Elder Hounds fall into four, one of four categories. Category. Elder Hounds fall into one of four categories, all of which denote the relationship to their lineage by purity of their blood. So the first and the most um, the most powerful are the True Bloods, and they refer to the original group of Elder Hounds that were born from the universe's expansion. True Blood Hounds are the most powerful and have the strongest forms of magic. These were uh, these beings were once purely magic, but formed bodies for themselves to live proper lives. More than 80% of these individuals live on Blackreach, and some of these are the oldest beings in the known universe. Most True Bloods return to life after dying or being killed. True Bloods births are very rare, as the magic of the genesis of the universe is not only remnants. It does happen, but it's not often. And when I mean not often, it's very rare. Um, this is what you would consider Volker's family and his parents and things like that. So when you think about them, 
oftentimes that's what you get. So uh, Volkner follows the old born category, which is the next category in line. And I'll read that to you all now. Um, it's kind of hard to draw and read. So um, I hope you guys understand that because this is another page, another screen entirely rather. So I'll explain that then. Oldborn refers to a generation of elder hounds directly after the settling on Blackreach. Oldborn hounds are the first to be born with physical bodies and are marginally weaker than their true blood relatives. Oldborns are distinct in their wide range throughout the universe being the catalyst for the spread of elder hound genes. This group has been recorded to have created the uh, most plants to inhabit or leave to thrive. So most of these creatures um, have either created planets in some other part of the universe or have moved to other planets entirely just to live out normal lives. Oldborn hounds are only created by the mating of two trueborn hounds, which are two of the original type of hounds, and it's estimated that at least 800,000 individuals are classified as oldborn. This is an estimate as the numbers may be larger. I actually don't know the actual thing, I just decided to give it like a rough estimate because this wouldn't be as big, and I just wanted to make sure that that is known. So, Volkner, as you can see, Volkner categories as a as an old hound, and oh my god, I'm looking at these pictures. Um, it's really hard to like work on him and talk, but when I created him, uh, this actually all this mythos was actually just non-existent. So when I created Volkner a couple years ago, um, I eventually I, I came to this eventually, but um, this wasn't all original. This was actually I, I used to I used to have him as a regular canine or at least a uh, an offshoot of a canine. So when I uh, when I made him, he was a uh, he was just a regular canine. I think he was a dire wolf at one point, and he was just a regular white white wolf. And he had uh, he had black spots and everywhere. And he had I uh, partnered him with another for the universe and with another person that I really that I know really well. And after a while, I decided to branch off and do my own thing because I felt it'd be a little bit easier to work on him without having to find permission from somebody else who had another species that he was part of. So I defected from that, and I decided to make something different that would eventually be. Something that I'm proud of, and I still am very proud of. So, let's see. When talking about these elder hounds, it's good to understand that elder hounds are, um, they're innately magic, and as a result, they don't age very, they don't age very well, and they don't do, they don't do a whole lot to be involved in other parts of the universe. Volkner is an exception. Volkner, uh, he ran away at a certain age of, I couldn't tell you exact age, but I want to say, uh, maybe at the age of 20 or so, Volker decided that he was he had, had enough for Black Reach. He didn't want to be king quite yet. And as a result, he decided to leave. This is kind of, I guess you could say this is an, a rendition of him as a younger person. Volkner was very small at one point. Um, I might put that on, I might put that on the uh, on the screen right now. You can see that um, he's next to his sister. He's really tiny. And... Uh, he, he only recently grew, I think at about like age 16, he started growing to be taller than, or as tall as his sibling. But that's besides the point. Volkner um, is known to be the real progenitor of the uh, Elder Hound Expanse. So Volkner left and started creating planets. Volkner is the strongest of his generation and has the most power and most uh, mastery of his power. But that also made Volkner arrogant and Volkner started going out and making planets and he started making worlds where he can live and feel as if he was powerful. And that was the thing that he really wanted. So Volkner, of course, had to uh, had to do that at some point in some way, shape, or form. And that ended up backfiring on him when he decided that at one point he wanted to uh, he wanted to uh, live, or rather, he wanted to live in these worlds as the um, as the god or as whatever. Well, that backfired pretty badly because eventually he decided trying to find he tried to. He tried to find a world, or to create a world, where he could feel absolutely perfect, and he ended up straying to the wrong side of the universe, and he immediately, uh, not immediately, but he, he got, um, attacked. He and his siblings got attacked by an eldritch being, sorry. If you remember my last part about the eldritch beings, you may know that eldritch beings are incredibly dangerous, they're not to be trifled with lightly, and of course, our good old boy does not listen to the, to that heed. And he believes that he is capable of fighting them, and he proves out to be extremely wrong in that reference because they end up, one of them ends up severely wounding him and his siblings, and they have to retreat and find a place to hide. Now, this happens, and uh, as a result, he ends up um, he ends up running away to what is the 
very early genesis of Earth. And they land there and they hang on, hang around Earth for the next couple billion years. So I'm talking about like Volkner shows up on Earth at the original, like at the original creation of Earth. So Earth had just been born from the ashes. And as a result, um, he's like one of the first living, first feasibly living creatures on the planet with his siblings. And that sounds really good. But the problem with that was Volkner eventually uh, realized that people on that planet didn't really like or didn't really enjoy them because they found that uh, because Earth was rather, uh, they found that Earth was rather, mm, I wouldn't say strange, Earth was rather lax with its, with its rules or with its, uh, with its inhabitants because Earth was like one of those special cases apparently where Earth, uh, Earth had the ability to to welcome other people and other creatures in its domain without uh, inter causing interference. So no one creature or no one set of creatures could claim Earth. So everybody got there and it was like a smorgasbord. So dragons showed up. The Elder Hounds started showing up too in the form of Volkner and his siblings. And a couple other creatures started coming in too. And as a result, it became free reign. And uh, yeah, that happened. And they basically found that um, all Elderkin um, basically were not feasibly like like able to enjoy living on Earth because um, humans that started growing there saw them as dangerous because they didn't have such power. So they started hunting them and killing them like dragon dragon hunting and stuff like that. As a result, it got really bad. Um, Volkner had died quite a bit to um, betrayal and stuff like that. And it comes back to present day where eventually Volkner became um, what we see him as today. Uh, Volkner now is just a dad. It sounds kind of interesting for somebody like him who, uh, you know, lived a life of uh, life of you know whatever. Volkner now is a dad. He has nothing else to do with his life. He just kind of hangs around, does whatever he wants, and uh, I respect that for him. I respect that. I'm happy that he gets a chance to do what he wants. Um, I'm drawing him kind of right now in like a pose, but like it's just to have him. There we go. I'm just gonna kind of do a quick little value test. So as you can see, uh, we could do some physical things about Volkner too. Volkner's a very large man. Uh, that's something that's uh, pretty common. Volkner's a pretty large dude. He's huge, large, large, and charge. And the biggest thing about that, of course, is the fact that um, him being the strongest of his kind, or one of the strongest of his kind anyway, uh, Volkner has a lot of uh, has a lot of burden being really strong. When he goes places, he feels often that he has to help each other, help people. And that's interesting because his kind usually, while they're usually generally not, um, they're usually pretty cautious, but friendly. Volkner is uncommonly so because he, I guess you could say he has empathy with other creatures and other beings. And as a result, people, um, people, uh, people enjoy his company or people want to, want to be around him. And as a result, he makes friends and. Sometimes he makes friends with the wrong crowd, sometimes on accident, and that gets him killed. It's an unfortunate happening, but it does happen, and I really wish that it didn't happen, but you know it does. So, that happens often, um, but that doesn't really discount the fact that Volkner is a really kind person. Volkner will help anybody he can, um, especially if you give him a reason to help you. Uh, if you give him a decent enough reason, he'll help you. That's that's usually his thing. Volkner has been a part of many different... Um, many different cultures in the world because elder hounds, like I said before, they live for extensive periods of time. And just because they die once doesn't mean they want to fully die. Uh, Volkner has lived as a Pharaoh. He's lived as a Viking. He's lived as, um, what else is he lived as? He's lived as uh, a thief. He's lived as pretty much any world you could possibly think of him as. He's lived it. He's been a samurai or a Ronin. He's been a whole bunch of other things. And the lore around him allows me to create a narrative for him so that I can constantly and always have a world for him to be in. And that's what I like about him the most. He's pretty adaptable, um, but a couple things always stay the same. Usually he's a blacksmith by trade or an engineer by trade. A lot of the biggest things that you see in the world around you, in that world, in his world at least, Volkner is the reason behind them. So I really enjoy having him around and being able to work with him because sometimes he's really fun to work with and just to be able to uh to say that yeah this is Volkner this is what I do it's who I work with for a living it's my character 
and I'm happy to be able to share him with you guys because you see him as my little dummy little icon sometimes, but sometimes you guys just don't know the full story. And being able to tell the full story is pretty important to me. So I really thank you guys for being able to watch this uh, series. Um, this series is all over the place, but being able to at least have some place and semblance to be able to explain some of this stuff does help a lot. Whoa. Okay, there we go. That's right. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, that's right. All right, I had to figure that out. So there we go. Look at that. He's cute. Um, let me do this. When I do my sketches like this, I often do them uh, just to be able to have a way to uh, work with them. This isn't actually for the animation project I'm working on, this particular piece, this particular um, image right here. This is just getting a general idea of uh, what Volkman looks like from the back. Um, probably with his hair or something like that. Hold on, let me do this. Get rid of that. Yeah, I, uh, that was my fault. I don't know why I did that, but I can get that back real quick. I can just uh, re-render the rest of that stuff. Let me go in to the, vid the picture right here and let's go ahead and uh, add some so we might just add some hair you know like that um yeah there we go as you can see he's pretty confident about himself here i think i'd be confident too if i had those kind of muscles and stuff let's go ahead and uh, add some blue some some more blue um yes by the way technically volkner is a white creature volkner actually is white but um because of uh because of i had a suggestion from a friend a long time ago and they suggested that um, I just give him like make him like a blue color with highlights and now well he's blue when it's not um, when he's not highlighted so to be honest he's actually technically he's white but we call him we call him blue because oh man hold on damn it I keep forgetting that yeah he's blue but um in a full view of the light he's white he's kind of like one of those shading things that you would see in like an anime or whatever um it's, it's a lot like that all right look at that He's kind of cute. I like him. Um, let's go ahead and let's add some shading to him because I am doing some. Uh, I'm doing some some certain things to make sure that it's uh, understandably, you know, whatever. Let's go ahead and lighten just a bit. There we go. So I'm just gonna keep doing that. You want to lock your layers, by the way. So this is a, this is for anybody who's not learning how to who's learning how to draw. You're doing digital. You want to lock your layers just so you can have a uh, general idea of what you're working with as far as your, you know, your composition and stuff. So I lock my layers just so I can have a uh, just a decent understanding of what's going on. And you can see, I'm not doing a whole lot with my shading right now. Uh, I'm just kind of giving it something simple, something simple to work with. And I'm just gonna put that right there. Okay, uh, I gotta go back and I gotta add some blacks for his um, his uh, markings and such like that. Hold on a second. I just realized that I didn't draw this little, little thing right here. But um, there it is. Okay, there we go. But um, one thing that you could definitely do that you may want to like take into consideration when you're drawing like this. Um, you know, just always rough it out, sketch it, make sure that you have everything that you what you would want to put into the final piece. Um, and always look at your references. Make sure that your references are pretty clean. Um, I don't really use reference for Volker anymore because, of course, he's um, he's my character. I know him pretty well. If anybody would know him, it would have to be me. So I would imagine that's what it'd be. Okay, so now I'm going to start moving into the uh, this stuff. We're doing that and there we go there we go he's handsome he's a handsome boy there we go and i forget that volker also has scars so we're gonna work with that um i talked a little bit about the old born and this stuff uh, when i talked a little bit about his mythos let's talk a little bit about him in other contexts so um as far as Generally, where Volkner comes from, as far as you know, his overall um, thing, I can explain at least the general uh, consensus of what he's about. So, Volkner was originally uh, Volkner was originally a traveler, I believe. Um, this is like years ago. 
And after I started that, I wanted to like make him just a generally like a reasonable guy. Generally, I wanted to make him uh, just regular. I didn't want to make I wanted to make him something interesting, I guess. Uh, I decided to slowly work towards uh, blacksmithing and stuff like that because that was something I had interest in and I couldn't do blacksmithing. I also can't do magic. I wish I could, but I can't. And that was the catalyst for doing all the things that Volkner does now and all the character creation that I work on for him. A lot of this stuff is all, uh, is all, oh, wrong way. A lot of this stuff is a lot of, um, is what Volkner is and what I want to be. So I created him with the uh, objective thought of him being, you know, just my way out and my way to, to have fun, you know? Some people don't get a chance to have fun, uh, so creating characters is their way out. So that's what I did. And happy to say that to this day, Volker still is one of my favorite characters to work with. And even though I had a lot of issues and problems with him before, um, this is probably my favorite part about it, he, being able to work with him now as, a, as I'm older. It would understand him just a bit better. There we go. I'm just gonna put this right like that. And I find myself really enjoying just him. <clears throat> Vulcan was originally um, a traveler. He turned into a blacksmith and he became um, an engineer shortly afterwards because I kind of I fell into the Iron Man game, Iron Man hook really hard. Okay, I really liked the Iron. I liked Iron Man and. I wanted to have something like that. So Volkner creates exoskeletons too. He creates power suits. And uh, he doesn't need them, but he uses them because he just likes to be able to fly around with these. And that's always really fun for him. Look at that picture, I'm gonna zoom out. Look. That's how you do one of those. And I uh, really wanted to have something to be able to do as far as, you know, um, general, you know, of, general thing so i made something that was interesting and eventually it turned into what he is now he's a really cool guy and at the result as a result rather uh he has been through innumerable changes like i said he went from short hair to, to middle um, range to middle length hair to long hair and sometimes he goes to short now but he has long hair now that's usually what he's been that's what he's uh, known for and i try to make uh I try to make these characters in particular him with dignity and respect because even though um one may say oh he's this and oh he's that i try to have respect to the lore that i created that this is a character that i personally love and stuff like that so people can at least appreciate him um i've done a lot to try to make this character likable um for everybody at least and, oh shit <laughs> sorry and he's not likable entirely by everybody but that's fine i don't have to worry about the oh shit <laughs> jesus christ i don't have to worry about that as much there we go I'm erase that and you can see by his pictures that like you know he's i made him finally there's finally there's a place where i've made him where i'm comfortable with him and i can change him how i want when i want and that that's the best part about him um look at the time it's 23 minutes in jesus christ Cut that part out. I definitely, I definitely am happy to have such a character because he's grown through. He's grown through with it. He's grown through it with me. He's been uh, my learning experience. He's been some of my most incredible moments in my life. He's the reason why I have so much. Uh, I have so much stack stack into the furry community because he's my persona. He's the reason why I'm here. And uh, even though sometimes I really wish that uh, I did better in the furry community or whatever, I'm happy that this is the kind of thing that I can leave in the community. I could actually say that, yeah, this is this is me. So maybe one day if I become popular, this will be like this will be the calling card of me. You'll see Volker and you'll be like, that's his. That's Noodle Dogs. Yeah, I'm really proud of this character and everything that I'm working on. I'm going to be starting the animation project soon because I really want to be able to share you, with you guys what I have in store because um, I'm not great at animation, but I don't care. I'm going to like do it for I'm going to do it for you guys. I'm going to do it for everybody and make sure that everybody is uh, is is pretty happy with me. I'm about to go because I'm going to go and, and get some breakfast. It's really early in the morning right now. Uh, it's seven o'clock. I guess that's early, but um. 
If you like this video, I want you guys to tell me about it in the comments below. If you want me to improve on something, I'll try to do improvements. I will listen to your comments. I don't get many. Um, but that's about it. I don't have really anything else to say. Um, this one is done. I'm going to move on to another character uh, next time. And maybe if you guys are interested, I will do um, I'll do a lore video where you can hear in depth. I'll read the I'll read the Black Reach Compendium, uh, which is my uh, my notes on Volkner's species. So if you want to do that, uh, let's try to get this video to like, I don't know, five likes. Five likes, I'll do that. Um, I just want to do some videos for you guys because I'm really happy with these. So um, it's been Noodle Dog. Uh, take care, everybody. I'll see you all later. Bye.